नित्यानंद चरण प्रभु मैनी ऑफ यू नो गौरंग प्रभु गोविंद प्रभु रज बिहारी प्रभु चेतन चरण प्रभु नित्यानंद चरण प्रभु इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द सेम फैमिली दिस इज ए सेकेंड ईयर फर्स्ट ईयर लास्ट ईयर ही केम टू अमेरिका यू एस ट्रेवलिंग टू मैनी सिटीज सो ही कुडन कम टू आर संगा बट दिस इज इज फर्स्ट a visit to our congregation so we invite to our family of his son of central new jersey and we hope every year he can come for more and more days um, if you go and google on youtube nitinand charan you will see amazing videos of his social media presentation um prabhu ji is situated in our gopinath temple in mumbai Uh, he has written wonderful, wonderful books. I have some copies, but just to show you, uh, self-help books on relationships. One of the best books I have read about relationships. Uh, he has written Nitinand Charan Prabhu. Uh, uh, he preaches to South Mumbai devotees, congregations. Uh, some of them happen to be in diamond business or other businesses and they are so dear to him and he is so dear to their hearts that they invite him here also uh they are staying in manhattan and other places uh on special invitation so they can he can come and spend time with their families uh so it's very our honor and pleasure to have prabhu ji amongst us so please share your with all of us the importance of deity worship especially the mood how to worship the deities how to welcome the deities at home thank you so very much hare krishna hare Last year, I remember I couldn't come, 
it was Prabhuji's 60th birthday also. And that time I was traveling. So it just reminded me. So then I realized he had mentioned about it. And it is such a privilege to be here, especially on Ekadashi, which is Krishna's day. And seeing Jagannath, Baladev and Subhadra Ji being welcomed home. So, Lord Vishnu, when Mother Ekadashi manifested in this world, this Tithi, so that Devi, he said, anybody who will worship me on this day will become purified of all the sins and at the end of his life I will bring him to my abode. So that's how powerful Ekadashi is. And when it comes to deity worship, Srila Prabhupada said that every Grihastha should have deities at home. And this makes so much sense because otherwise we are busy carrying out various responsibilities in the material world. And it becomes very easy to um, get disconnected because you become what you associate with. Like in the Skanda Purana, it is mentioned once Lord Brahma played to Lord Krishna that you have given me this task of creation which involves a lot of passion. Creation is associated with the mode of passion. Rajogun. And he says I have to create so many different types of things, so many different types of living entities I have to associate with. There is a saying that you become who you associate with. So if we associate with like some category, some chain smoker, very soon we become like them. Imagine Lord Brahma's position. He has to associate with all types of living entities. He has to create the devatas, he has to create the humans, he has to create 8.4 million types of species. So he said, you have given me this duty, but how will I remain unaffected by the association, by the mode of passion? And imagine this is the first created being of the universe. And what does Lord Krishna tell him? He says, every day you must recite Srimad Bhagavatam. This is Niskanda Puran, Bhagavat Mahatma section. So since then, Lord Brahma recites every day. Lord Vishnu prayed once to Krishna that I have this task of maintenance and I will take avatars whenever there is a need to maintain the universe. But tell me, how will I maintain your devotees and how do I maintain my dear wife Lakshmi? So even Lord Vishnu has to think about his wife's maintenance. And Lord Krishna told him, every day you must recite Bhagavat. That will empower you to maintain the universe. So therefore, Lord Vishnu recites, Mother Lakshmi listens, Mother Lakshmi recites, Lord Vishnu listens. They are also reciting. They are also having to perform these activities regularly. And then Lord Shiva once prayed that you have given me this task of destruction. But tell me, how will I... I mean, I do not have the power for final pralaya destruction. What is final pralaya? When the soul actually gets liberated and the material identity is totally destroyed. To go to the spiritual world, he said, I don't have that power. And Lord Krishna told him to recite Srimad Bhagavat, which will give him that power. So how is it relevant to our life? You see, our life also is centered around these three things only. Either we are busy creating something, or maintaining something, or destroying something to create something new. So even if such powerful rulers as Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, they need the power of this kind of sadhana, Srimad Bhagavatam, Imagine how much we need. So there are five most powerful, potent ways of bhakti. Rupa Goswami mentions which can raise even a new fight to the level of bhav, which is the second last stage, just a stage lower than prema, the highest stage, instantly. Srimad Bhagavatam, Vaishnav Seva, deity worship, chanting the holy names and residing in a holy dham. So when you welcome a deity home, 
that's when it actually becomes a temple. And when you have a deity at home, then knowingly, unknowingly, you end up taking darshan. Every time you see the Lord, there is some benediction that comes into your life, which will manifest at you in due course. You will end up celebrating festivals. You become more Krishna conscious. And how do we serve the deity at home? Srila Prabhupada said, just like you would serve your child. You are very concerned about your child. Has he eaten? Does he have enough clothes? Is he alright? So in that consciousness. And how do we feed him? He said Krishna should be fed like a small child with a big appetite. And we don't have to talk about the appetite when it comes to Jagannath. <laughs> He's used to eating uh, a lot of food daily. So what is this DT form actually? Once one devotee from Vrindavan, he was mentioning that Srimati Radharani, once we hear this story, we'll understand how lucky we are to be having the opportunity to serve the deity. And Srimati Radharani mentioned to Krishna because she has a more compassionate heart that our children are suffering in this material world. Tell me, what are you doing about it? So Lord Krishna said, all right. I am there, they can always pray to me. He said, you are inaccessible. We are not so easily pleased. Of course, Krishna is easily pleased, but Radharani's standard is higher. So she is talking from that point of view. He said, all right, I'll expand myself into four more forms, which is known as the Vyuha expansion of the Lord. Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, Anirudh. Shrimati Radharani said, you're still staying somewhere up there and you're still inaccessible. How will people reach out to you? Do something better. So then Lord Krishna said, all right, I will manifest in various expansions and whenever there is a need, I will incarnate. She said, you're still in Vaikuntha. You have your planets in Vaikuntha. You are still inaccessible. I mean, we have to do something else, something better. So then Lord Krishna, so this is known as a Vyoma expansion. Vyuha, Vyoma. Then Lord Krishna said, all right. I will expand myself into another form in which I will accompany every soul no matter whichever body the soul enters into as Antaryami, Paramatma. I will accompany the soul. Namdari. I will be there right next. But then Radharani said, but, but they can't see you. And if you can't see somebody, how can you develop a connection? How will you? Out of sight is? Out of mind. So you have to make some other arrangement. Shishi Chakanath Baladev Subhatra Maharani Ki. So therefore, Krishna said, all right. And then Krishna manifested a form, an avatar, which is known as Archa Avatar. So this deity form of the Lord is known as Archa Avatar. Just like Narsingh Dev, as soon as you hear the name, you understand the mission, you understand the form. Every incarnation of the Lord that manifests in this world has a specific mission. Like as Ram, when he came, he came to establish Maryada, standards for human society. And you don't hear of Lord Ram's Bal Leela or going around stealing butter. Because he came to establish Maryada. When you hear about Krishna, he came to establish his supremacy as the Supreme Lord. He came as Narsingadev to kill, to save Prahlad. Similarly, this form of the Lord is known as Archa Avatar. As the name is suggesting, this form the Lord manifests only for one purpose and that is to accept the Archana of the devotees. Archana means worship. He appears in this form and the Lord said, I am appearing in my most merciful form. Because in this form, you can always see him 24 by 7, he is available to you. 24 by 7. 
and in this he gives you the opportunity to serve him, to dress him up, to feed him. So therefore, this deity form of the Lord is known as the most merciful manifestation of the Lord. And in that also, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra's form is even more merciful. So if you see this form of the Lord, doesn't look like any usual form. Big eyes, there are no hands, there are no legs, no ears, but a huge smile. So this is the form when Krishna is most ecstatic, most happy. Krishna left Vrindavan when he was 11 years. Then for a long time he didn't meet Radharani. Then they met at Kurukshetra. And after a long separation, when Krishna sees Radharani and Radharani sees Krishna, their eyes grow big. And Krishna seeing Radharani, he has a huge smile on his face. And he develops ecstatic symptoms. And one of the Ashta Sattvic Bhava is there a limbs contract or sometimes they expand the limbs contracted into his body so this is that form krishna in his most ecstatic state with big eyes big smile and you know when a person is happy it's very easy to please him to get whatever we want so that is this form of krishna and we have to have faith Srila Prabhupada said if you have faith that this is directly God, then one day these deities will speak to you. You can see them performing leelas. And we have to have this form, that the deity form of the Lord is even more merciful than the personal form of the Lord, because in this he is always available. And it's a beautiful pastime. You all heard about Shri Nathji, Nathdwar, Shri Gopal, the deity. He was earlier on Govardhan Hill and uh, worshipped by Vithal Naji, the son of the great Vallabhacharya Ji, Pushti Marga, uh, founder. And he had eight devotees, Ashtachap, who would regularly sing for the deity. Whenever the Lord's Ashtayama Seva, eight times of the day would happen, they would sing appropriate compositions for the deity. So one of them was Chaturbhuj Das Ji. I think yes, Chaturbhuj Das Ji. Or Kumban Das Ji, one of them. Chaturbhuj Das, I think. Anyways, I can find out the details later. Or Sur Das Ji, I think. Yeah. Sur Das Ji. So if you go to Govardhan, there is a beautiful pond called Chandra Sarovar on the bigger Parikrama. And there this devotee had many fields, you know, Khet, Khalihant, where he used to plow the fields. And he also used to sing for the deity. But he had such love and devotion for the Lord that the Lord was personally with him all the time. So when he would plow the field, you must have seen when somebody is plowing the field, somebody is walking behind, putting grains in the soil. So Krishna used to do that for him. He would plow the field and Krishna would... And even till date, you can find those documents where this devotee, he owned that part of land. Somewhere they're there, preserved. So Krishna used to walk behind him. One fine day, this devotee is plowing the field and suddenly on Govardhan, the bell rings. It was time for the Raj Bhok, Arti, Bhok. So then the, he had to sing when the Lord is being offered food. So he started running away. And Krishna said, where are you going? He said, it's time to feed the deity. He said, I'm right here. Where are you going? He said, no, it was Kumbandas Ji, yes. So he said, uh, I am still getting confused. He said, Tumhare chakkar mein padunga, seva chhut jayegi. He said, I am not going to uh, listen to you because I lose my seva because of you. And he ran away. So when he came back after singing, Krishna is sitting like this, waiting for him. 
So he said, Kumban Das Ji, uh, where did you go leaving me? He said, I have to go and serve. He said, if you get something very easily, you don't value it so much. I am sitting next to you, I am right here and I am serving you day in and day out and you are running away to that DT on top of that hill. And this devotee said, look, who called you? Did I call for you? He said, no. He said, just like you came on your own, you will also leave me on your own. And I left crying. But in that form, you don't go anywhere. You are there 24 by 7. I can see you anytime. You are not running away. And therefore, that form of the uh, that form of yours is more important for me. Because there I can serve you to my heart's content 24 by 7. And Krishna hugged him, embraced him. He said, because you have so much faith in my deity, therefore I never leave your association. So having that kind of faith that this is directly Krishna and it is the most merciful manifestation. And the deity actually, when you see him as that, he is very, very eager to reciprocate. Another beautiful pastime of the same, one day the Lord told Kumbandas Ji that I want to go and visit Thurasa, let's go for a walk. So where do you want to go? So take me anywhere. I'm whole day standing here. So they, okay, so he put him on a buffalo and they are walking and the Lord is seated on the buffalo. They reach a particular village and they sit down under a tree. Then Lord Krishna tells Kumban Ji, you know, there is this nice house close by. Let's go and steal some butter. So the Makan Chura Kilate and Kumban Ji joined us and he said, Please forgive me. I am an old man. If we are caught stealing, I will be beaten up nicely and you will run away. Nobody can catch you. So please, please, please. So he said, No, no. We are just going to steal it. It takes us two minutes. We are not going to sit there and or sleep there. You guy or you are going Then Kumban Ji couldn't say anything. So he went with him. And there was a wall. So Krishna told this devotee, Kumbanda, he said, okay, bend down. So he bent down and Krishna climbed on his shoulders. Then he got onto that wall. Then he, with his hand, he pulled Kumbanda ji also. Look at the beautiful pastime that is taking place. The mercy is showering upon his devotee. Then they enter that room. And Krishna says, bend down because the butter pots were hanging from the ceiling. So he bends down and Krishna climbs onto his shoulders. With, with his one hand, he holds the matka, the pot, and with the other hand, he starts eating. And Kumbandaji is like this and he's also looking at Krishna. Somehow. And Krishna is eating and a little bit left, he's feeding Kumbandaji also with his own hand. Whatever is left on his hand. Half he is eating, with the same hand he is feeding Kumbandas and he's And then suddenly an amazing thing happened. So Krishna was busy, his dhoti started falling off. Now what to do? One hand is butter, other hand is holding the pot and he has to balance himself. So Krishna, I mean he doesn't need to exert himself. So suddenly two more hands manifested. So two were holding the dhoti. <laughs> And with the other two, he was busy eating the butter. And Kumbandas just kept looking at this beautiful scene. Krishna's mouth was covered with butter and he's eating with two hands, holding his dhoti innocently. And he just couldn't stop looking at it. And suddenly the residents of the house, they understood to hai andar. They came running and Krishna immediately ran away. And Kumbandas is caught. And they were about to just chast they were chastising, they were about to beat him. So pe people came, oh no, no, this is Kumbandas Ji, Baba is an old man, leave him. And he comes back somehow and he sees Krishna sitting under that same tree. So look what happened, Tumhare chakkar mein aaj pitte pitte baj gaye. So Krishna said, it's not my mistake, it's your mistake. And my mistake, he said, aur kya? Chori karne gaye te, dhyan lagane thodi gaye te. What is this you're looking at? 
मियांडर कोई चोर कोई ध्यान लगाता है क्या एदन इज सैड डोंट वरी दो तीन बार और आओगे मेरे साथ सीख जाओगे सो दिस इज द ब्यूटीफुल रियल्म वी आर एंटरिंग व्हेन वी आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सर्व द डीटी इट इज डायरेक्टली कृष्णा In Sanskrit, the word used for house is bhavan. In that, bha stands for Bhagawan, and if there is no bha, it remains a one. And in one, who remains animals? Animals means eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. No other goal in life. Dharma na hi na, pashu bhi saman. So Jagannath, the Lord of the Universe, is the most mystical deity. at the same time his holy dham jagannath puri is the most mystical holy place in the universe again and again the lord mentions that jagannath puri is my home that's where i stay just like his holiness uh, bhakti purushottam maharaj ji mentions that jagannath puri is the holiday resort of the lord what do you do when you go on a holiday you find a nice resort by the sea and you just eat and sleep nothing else that's what krishna does therefore it is said when krishna wants to dance he is in vrindavan when he wants to sleep he is in shri rangam when he wants to rule he is in dwarka and when he wants to eat he comes to puri so jagannath is the deity for kali yuga There are different ways in which the Lord showers His mercy upon His devotees. Even when Lord Chaitanya was there, there are four different ways, five different ways He was showering His mercy. So Jagannath is that deity who showers His mercy upon His devotees through prasad. Prasad means the mercy of the Lord. And this is the only installed deity in the universe, in the history of the creation, that comes out. For nine days to give darshan to his devotees, and this way liberate them. Anybody who sees Jagannath even once in his lifetime participates in the Rathi Yatra, that person gets liberated. No more material birth. <coughs> so this is the most confidential form of the Lord. Lord Chaitanya, when Radha Krishna came five thousand five hundred years ago, as Lord Chaitanya, he could have stayed anywhere. but he chose jagannath puri because this is that form the lord stays in jagannath puri in that form where is manifesting the highest ecstasies of love and he has huge eyes so that nobody nobody misses out on his mercy it's a big smile and most happy most ecstatic so it's a glorious occasion and that to when we do these things these activities on ekadashi there's a lot of kirtan happening and kirtan is the actual installation of the deity or welcoming see krishna is all attractive all attractive he is the possessor of six opulences but what attracts him na ham tishthami vaikunthe yogi naam rute yeshu va tatra tishthami narada yatra gayanti mat bhakta He tells Narad Muni, "I don't reside in Vaikuntha. I don't reside in the hearts of the yogis. I reside where my devotees come together and sing my glory, sing my names, Kirtan, Yatra Gayanti. He's not saying Kathayanti. He's saying Gayanti. Sing. Like one devotee from Vrindavan was telling me that Thakur Ji ko khali ga ke hi rejaya ja sakta hai. You can only please Krishna." through devotional singing so kirtan is that power which attracts even the all attractive and it is the yuga dharma when shri shri krishna balram radha sham sundar gaur neta were installed in vrindavan so of course there were few priests hired locally but then shila prabhupad had a few devotees sit at a distance they were continuously doing kirtan he said even though we had to hire these priests so that society doesn't think that they are installed deity is just whimsically but the actual installation of the deity as the kirtan of the devotees 
So Kirtan is the key. Holy name is the key. This whole movement manifested only on the basis of Kirtan. It's a historical place, New York City, in a little storefront, in that little park, Tompkins Square Park, under a tree. Before that, Washington Square Park, Srila Prabhupada would sit and do Kirtan. What else did he have? Nothing. When he writes in his poem, he just had faith in two things. And if anybody has faith in these two things, that person will be able to accomplish the impossible. If you read his poem, he had complete faith in the words of Bhagavatam. He says, when this Katha enters their heart, then they will transform. And more than that, he writes specifically that all I have is faith in your name. So anybody, anybody who has faith in the name of the Lord, we should know that person will be able to accomplish the impossible in any part of the creation. The Lord has put all his powers, his mercy, his benedictions in his name. So when we chant his names, we gain access to those powers, those blessings. And this is the most powerful way to please the Lord. Kirtan. He comes running. And this is not something which is like all of us like to use imported products. Right? At least that's what people desire. There is some kind of uh, status attached to it. Imported. So Hare Krishna Mantra is the imported thing. It's not from this world. Golokera Premadana Harinam Sankirtan. And who introduced it? Who brought it? The Lord Himself. And what did Lord Chaitanya do? He came to teach how to live in this world, how to perform bhakti. Throughout his life, what did he do? Harinam Sankirtan. We don't hear of Lord Chaitanya, especially after he took sannyas sitting and doing Katha in Jagannath Puri. It's the Harinam Sankirtan. This is the Yuga Dharma, this is this religious practice for the age which will ultimately lead us to perfection. Even if we are not doing anything else, but if we simply give attention to Kirtan, everything will manifest in due course of time. But if we are neglecting this Yuga Dharma, then the perfection will take maybe a few more lifetimes, or many more lifetimes. But Kirtan is the gateway to enter into the spiritual realm into the deepest realizations in Krishna consciousness. I'll end with this one point. There is a beautiful scripture called Brihad Bhagavatamrit. And in that, there is this boy Gop Kumar. He has been sent by Srimati Radharani to help one of the devotees, one of her devotees who has been chanting Radha Krishna's names for a long time and to help him in his spiritual ascension. So this Gokumar comes down and he has this look at this Brahman and he's saying, he's saying, he says, oh, I see that this devotee has been chanting for a long time. But now to attain the perfection the spiritual perfection that he's looking for, the ultimate spiritual perfection, he needs to engage in Sankirtan in the association of other devotees. So Sankirtan is the key. And if this is happening regularly, then there will be no obstacles. Even if they come, they will disappear in our devotional life, individually, collectively, as a community, as a nation, as an organization. Srila Prabhupada writes in the Chaitanya Charitamrit that when Lord Chaitanya used to visit Srivas Thakur's house, he, the devotees exclusively performed only three activities. They discussed Krishna, they chanted Krishna's holy names, and they worshipped Krishna. And if our movement, Prabhupada writes in the purport, remains dedicated, loyal, faithful to these three activities and nobody can stop the advancement of this movement. 
nobody can stop the advancement of the devotees who are dedicated to these three activities only. If they dedicate their lives to these three activities, chanting Krishna's holy names, Krishna Katha and Krishna Puja. Krishna Katha, Krishna Naam and Krishna Puja. And because of which all the obstacles, all the impediments automatically disappear and the path becomes clear. <coughs> So again, I am very, very thankful. I hope I am sticking to the time. What time is it? 6.49. So again, I am very grateful to Devkinandan Prabhu for inviting me and to all of you for sincerely practicing Krishna Consciousness and happy to have the opportunity to serve all of you. I look forward to seeing all of you in future also. And I will Krishna wills. Hare Krishna. Any questions? Anyone has? Yeah. So I just uh, forgot. I wanted to mention. Uh, this morning only I also received an email from our temple that his Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj is in critical condition. He is admitted in a hospital at Dehradun. He was there, so he couldn't be airlifted. The doctors have um, prescribed that he stays there. So we need uh, all devotees' prayers. And we also dedicate today's Katha, Kirtan, and everything for his speedy recovery. Because the kind of service he has done to Srila Prabhupada's mission is unprecedented. One Srila Prabhupada said that everything that is happening in India is all because of Gopal Krishna. Prabhupada literally gave him that this whole Indian India, this Indian country, subcontinent. And the amount of preaching, the amount of the number of devotees, the number of temples, and the kind of influence he has had. Uh, on society as a representative of ISKCON is like something which is something very inspiring and I've never met him but I always see him as one of my uh, great sources of inspiration his dedication to sadhana even when last time I remember he had had some heart surgery and he was advised to take rest because he was very he's been throughout his life very very strict when it comes to his morning sadhana and following other principles laid down by Srila Prabhupada so at 4 30 he was up the next morning after his heart surgery and he was advised to not wake up take full rest for recovery and 4 30 he was up and he was chanting the doctor comes and says you're not supposed to wake up and take rest and after he leaves he's telling the devotees he says Prabhupada said you must wake up early in the morning and chant. Doctor says you should sleep. Who should I listen to? You tell me. <laughs> so please pray because devotees prayers ultimately are magical and the prayers of the devotees they work beyond the mundane standards of this world. So everything is in Krishna's hands and devotees prayers can actually convince Krishna and Krishna does listen to his devotees prayers so don't think that who will listen to us every person who is on this path even if it's just one day old is very dear to Krishna so we request your prayers for his speedy recovery so that we can have more of his association and he can do more and more service Hare Krishna yeah, take it. Sit down, I think.